If you're anything like me, you grew up eating a lot of microwave dinners. Today, I'm gonna to show you one of my absolute favorites for Salisbury steak, or as some people call it, hamburger steaks and gravy. Meet me in the kitchen, let's make it happen. First things first, let's get in the kitchen and prep all of our ingredients. We're getting the party started with the onions and the mushrooms, which is gonna make our delicious brown gravy that's going on top of these hamburger steaks. We're gonna also plate that over some fantastic blue cheese, smashed potatoes, but we're breaking out all the stops today. We're even gonna do some veggies for health with a little broccolini. I'm going with a large dice here because I want these to kind of caramelize a little bit. I want bigger kind of chunks of my onions in the gravy. So nice rough chop on the onions, about this big or so, maybe like a half inch in length. And we're gonna shoot for about the same size on the mushrooms. So really guys, the most daunting task about cooking typically is all the prep work. I like to get that done and out of the way. That way you can flow right through the recipe. Next up, we're gonna pair this with mashed potatoes. So it's time to prep the potatoes. Just wanna peel them, chop them up, get them nice and clean. And you can boil them in some salted water or chicken broth, you know, depending on how fancy you're feeling or whatever you have laying around. All right, my friends, now it's time for the fun part. We're gonna get our hands dirty and get our hamburger steaks prepared. First things first, you need one pound of 80-20 ground beef in a large mixing bowl. To that, we're gonna add two tablespoons of ketchup. We're gonna eyeball that. Followed by one tablespoon of worst word in world sauce. If for whatever reason you don't like that, you could also use soy sauce. I've done that when I didn't have this readily available. We're gonna season that up with some smoked paprika just to add a little bit of smoky flavor on the back end of the flavor profile. Some Italian seasoning, just pairs really nicely with ground beef in my opinion. And then all purpose, something simple like mine, or you can use a blend of salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, or whatever store-bought product you like. This makes you adequately season everything. And then we're gonna get in there with our hands and start to really just combine everything. And then last but not least, we're gonna add one beaten egg and our breadcrumbs to act as a binder to really hold everything together. So once you have everything combined, get in there with your hands and just kind of portion them out. With, with one pound of ground beef, I typically get three to four portions. Really depends on how hungry you are and how you wanna serve these. But I like to patty them in like an oval shape. Again, a personal preference thing. We'll get about four out of this in this shape right here. So anywhere between four and five ounces. Just try to make them equal size. That way they cook at the same rate. And we'll get them in the fridge to kind of come together a little bit more, make sure they don't break apart during the cooking process. So now I'm gonna show you guys my infamous blue cheese mashed potatoes. I've showed you guys a couple different variations of mashed potatoes on this channel. I've held back the blue cheese recipe because I know a lot of folks are childish and they don't like blue cheese. But guess what? Today we're gonna grow up develop our palates a little bit. We got a half stick of butter melting. We're gonna add one cup of heavy cream and one cup of half and half. Allow that butter to fully melt. We're gonna add two tablespoons of sour cream to the mixture and then about a quarter cup to a half cup of blue cheese, really good quality. Preferably from somewhere like Wegmans or somewhere you know you can respect the, the deli counter. And then we're gonna mix that in until it melts. We're gonna season it to taste and it's gonna be phenomenal pairs beautifully with steak, prime rib, or today's version of hamburger steaks. So in a preheated skillet over medium high heat, we're gonna go ahead and begin to sear off our hamburger steaks, four at a time. If you're doubling the recipe for eight for meal prep, and I like to hit them with just one little top coat of all-purpose seasoning. Once they're seared, we're gonna remove them from the skillet and then make our gravy, add them back so they get smothered, finish cooking in the gravy, and then it'll be time to plate this up. At this point, guys, you wanna give it a good three to four minutes. You wanna make sure you get a nice crust on there, kinda similar to what you would expect on a hamburger or a steak, hence the name hamburger steak. About like that. So 
So once the hamburger steaks are seared to perfection, it's time to add in two tablespoons of butter into the same skillet that we use to sear the hamburger steaks because we want to capture all of that flavor in there. A lot of the fat that rendered, some of the seasoning, just the natural flavors from the beef. That's gonna flavor our gravy as well. So two tablespoons of butter, kind of scrape up the bottom, deglaze the skillet a little bit as you go. We'll be adding two cups of beef broth that'll help with that here in just a second. But first and foremost, it's time to saute those onions and mushrooms. Get them nice and caramelized, softened up. Tons of flavor in this recipe, guys. All right, so after a good four to five minutes, the onions and the mushrooms should uh, have cooked down a bit, got nice and tender. At which point we're gonna add two tablespoons of tomato paste and one teaspoon of better than bouillon beef base. This stuff packs a little bit of sodium in it, so just be careful with the rest of the seasoning that you intend to use. Get a teaspoon of that in there. Start to mix that together. A couple teaspoons of worst word in the world sauce or soy sauce, preferably low sodium. If you opt for that, give that a good mix. And then we're going in with three tablespoons of all purpose flour, followed quickly by the two cups of beef broth. So once you got it right where you want it, like so, we're going with two to three tablespoons of heavy cream just to balance everything out. Because why the hell not? We're here for a good time, not a long time. Give that a good mix. And just let it cook down, get that nice brown gravy color. We're gonna hit this with a little black pepper. And this is gonna be perfect to finish cooking those hamburger steaks in. And this is the part where I say, brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me guys, looking good. The only thing left to do is dig in for the taste test. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right, my friends, the moment of truth, AKA my favorite part of the job. I found my fork and it's time to dig in for the taste test. We got plenty of gravy, we got mushrooms, we got onions, we got blue cheese, mashed potatoes that I'm Hoping you guys will try. And we got broccolini. Here goes nothing. Mm. Man. 